We have a major update on the Knicks trade plans. According to an NBA insider, he reports that the Knicks have checked in on the Atlanta Hawks, Clint Capella. We're going to break down exactly what this means for the Knicks and potentially, if they made that trade, what players would be leaving the Knicks. We're going to break down all of these latest reports and so much more today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and make sure you have notifications turned on so you don't miss a second of the new content. And now, let's get started. The Knicks are interested in a Clint Capella trade. For a couple of days now, we have been reporting that the Knicks have been interested in high-salary veterans that they could trade for. Now, we named a couple of veterans. We named Brooke Lopez, Nikolai Vukcevic, but we also talked about Clint Capella. We mentioned that the Hawks were making him available for a trade, and now it seems like the Knicks picked up that phone call and they went ahead and asked the Atlanta Hawks what it would take to get him on this roster. Because according to these recent reports, the Knicks did check in on Clint Capella. Let's break down these latest reports here. Shout out to Ian Bagley of SNY for giving us the following information. According to him, Clint Capella of the Atlanta Hawks was one big that the Knicks checked in on. I don't know how far talks went. I don't know if they are active at this very moment, but they did check in on Capella. Bagley continues here by stating, you can infer that Mitchell Robinson would have probably been in that trade for Capella because Capella is a starting center. Or maybe the Knicks would have said Robinson and Capella could be our platoon at center this season. But nonetheless, Capella, a higher salary veteran center, they did check in on him. Shout out to Ian Bagley for giving us the following updates about the Knicks and their trade interest regarding Clint Capella. Now, if you look at Clint Capella and what he offers in terms of rebounding, blocking shots, being inside the paint, He's actually a perfect center for Tom Thibodeau. And if you look at Mitchell Robinson, he offers a lot of the same thing. The only difference between the two is games played. If you look at the games played between Mitchell Robinson and Clint Capella, it's not even close. Clint Capella in the last three seasons has been available in more games than Mitchell Robinson could ever hope to be. And that's not a knock to Mitchell Robinson. That's just facts. So you can understand potentially why the Knicks would be looking at Clint Capella and would try to trade for him on this roster. But did you notice what Ian Bagley stated? If they went after Clint, they would probably have to trade Mitchell Robinson in the process. And maybe they're okay with that. Because like I said, if they trade Mitchell Robinson, they have to get some assurance that whoever they're getting back can be in it for the long haul, play a lot of games, and fit with this roster fit under head coach Tom Thibodeau. Now, I don't like Clint Capella. I want to make that clear. However, I understand his skill set. And if he's on this team, he's not going to command the ball. He's not going to demand the ball either. And playing under head coach Tom Thibodeau, his defense is going to get better. He is going to be that center that we're going to need that can do everything that Mitchell Robinson can do. Just do it longer because he'll be able to be there and be available for more games. And that's what we have to look at. And that's the only reason I think the Knicks are even entertaining looking at a Clint Capella trade because there's no other reason to do that because Mitchell Robinson honestly offers you the same amount of things. The only thing he doesn't do is give you that same level of offense. Now, I'm not saying that Clint Capella is a dominant offensive player, but he's a walking double-double. Mitchell Robinson is not. And that's a big difference because if he can give you 10 points, 11 rebounds, 12 rebounds a game, that's a big difference. That's a lot of help inside. That means you're throwing a lot of defenders inside to Clint Capella. And what happens then? The corners are open. That means your point guard and Jalen Brunson has a lot more room to operate because the paint is going to be guarded because you're going to have Julius there. You're going to have Clint Capella there and nobody's going to want to leave them. So that means your shooters are going to shoot and they're going to have all the freedom to do so. Now, I'm not saying it's going to look pretty. Julius Randle commands the paint a lot, especially when he gets going and he plays bully ball Randle. However, under head coach Tom Thibodeau, I think we can make it work. 
Now, I did mention earlier that I'm not a big fan of Clint Capella, and I don't like him. There's a couple of reasons for that, but his contract is probably number one. He's set to make $22 million this season. And if the Knicks trade for him, it's a one-year rental. If he doesn't like it, he can leave. So the Knicks really don't have any incentive to trade a lot of assets to get him. So it makes sense for the Knicks to potentially check in on him and see if the Hawks are going to buy him out. Because a report did come out recently indicating that maybe the Hawks were thinking about buying out Clint Capella. If that happens, he would have a lot of suitors. One of them would be the Knicks. But it doesn't mean they're not thinking about trading for him now. But in my opinion, the main reason they wouldn't is because of his contract. Now, I understand the reports that have been coming out is that the Knicks are targeting high salary veteran centers. I can understand that. But here's the thing. The Knicks do not have the money available to make one of those moves happen. And I don't think they would give up significant assets, including Mitchell Robinson, to get one year of Clint Capella. Even though we have a championship window, our window is to win and continue to win. So we have to make sure we're making the right moves. I don't think Clint Capella is the right move. The right move, in my opinion, is a center that is very, very cheap, but has high upside and can thrive under head coach Tom Thibodeau. The unfortunate part is that list is not very long, but to top that list off is Walker Kessler. He doesn't make a lot of money. If the Knicks got him, he could potentially start if Mitchell Robinson goes down. I don't know if he would start right away, but he could thrive under head coach Tom Thibodeau and he could develop with this entire Knicks roster that we've just created. And we're going to continue to add to it. We're going to continue to get better. That's what makes it exciting headed into next season. We're not even done yet. We're even talking about it now. The Knicks gearing up to make another trade. The interest at this point in time is clear. They're looking at Clint Capella, but it doesn't mean they're just stopping there. They could be looking at other centers as well, too. Maybe they're looking at starting centers. Maybe they're looking at backup centers. But one thing is clear. They're no longer, because there's really nobody left in free agency to look at, in terms of trying to get somebody in free agency to add them to this roster to be that backup center. Maybe as a last resort, but not as of right now. Clearly, the goal for the Knicks is to upgrade at the center position by either getting a better backup or by getting somebody that can potentially start for the Knicks. But it's clear, the only way to get that player is to make a trade. What we're going to give up in terms of assets, I'm not sure. But it's looking more and more likely that potentially Deuce McBride and our protected picks are going to go out and another player, a starting or backup center, is going to be coming to our team. Who that player is, there's so many names on the table. We can continue to go through them. Leon Rose in this Knicks front office, though, they are locked in and focused on making sure whoever that player is, they are going to make an impact and help the chances for this Knicks roster next season to win a championship because that's the goal. And even though our window is four to five years, if we win a championship in year one or two, it doesn't mean we stop there. We keep going. We keep trying to win more chips, more titles, because that's what's important. That's what New York needs. And we finally have the roster to help give New York the championship that it deserves. We're a couple of moves away. And one of those moves is getting another center on this roster. You get a starting caliber center, it changes the game. But at this point in time, given where we are in the offseason, I'll even accept a very good quality backup center. Leon Rose is cooking. Something is brewing. I can smell something coming. A trade is coming soon. Courtesy of Leon Rose in this Knicks front office. I hope it's not Clint Capella. I hope it's another center. But let's see what Leon Rose does. Because when it comes to cost, that's what I look at too. And if he can pull off another heist and get somebody I'm not even thinking about at a very low cost, I can't even question him. Let's see what he's going to do though. But what about you guys? What do you think about the Knicks having trade interest in Clint Capella? And do you think the Knicks should go after him? Let me know in the comments below, guys, because honestly, I would love to hear from you.
But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave a comment below. And of course, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.